Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting October 30th, 2017. This is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Remember to watch your Moon and Rising Sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. Um, and other than that, let's just jump in and see what's coming up. For your overall guidance, we have the King of Raphael. Yes, it is safe for you to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. So the King of Raphael here, um, for some of you, it's definitely saying to stand your ground this week. You may need to stand your ground, you may need to assert yourself, and this is pretty much saying you don't have to be violent to do that, okay? Quiet strength is your best friend here. Don't let people manipulate you is also coming up here with this energy. Um, for those of you, this is a very helpful person. This is a friend, this is a coworker, family member, or your, even your partner, um, who's a very supportive force for you during this time. So don't be afraid to rely on them. Don't be afraid to just let them be there for you. Um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising individual may be particularly important for you this week. Maybe a focus for you for um, better or for worse. The King of Cups is also an energy that says... You may need to show patience and compassion in dealing with all the people that you will be dealing with this week. And again, be careful to draw the line when you need to. Be careful to um, not let people get to you or manipulate you um, with this energy as well. For your career, your finances, your personal projects, your studies, we have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess talks about a time of study and research. It could talk about training on the job okay that is happening for you this week it could talk about getting a new job and you're getting the training to go with it it could talk about um taking time from your work from the day-to-day -day work situation to uh, go through training to do some sort of research do some sort of additional qualification um with this energy as well for those of you this could be talking about going back to school um and for uh, some of you with the king of Raphael here this is about doing your research and looking at your options. It's also about consulting um, an expert, someone who has valuable information for you, good guidance for you. Um, if you're looking for a job, that's definitely something you should try because um, talking to a recruiter, someone in HR, someone in a recruitment agency, um, and again, water sign energy here is important, um, is really how you get a good job. Um, for others of you, you may be talking to HR this week to address certain issues uh, within the workplace, okay? For your communications and your environment, we have the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands, for some of you, you know, you are working in a stressful environment um, or a very competitive environment or an environment where you feel like you shouldn't trust the people around you, okay, where you need to protect yourself or watch your back. There may be conversations, again, with the mediator or um, someone in HR or someone who um, is objective in the situation and is not biased in the situation, whether this is happening in your work situation or in your family or your circle of friends. Um, there's going to be a conversation where things are aired out, things are put on the table to be discussed. Um, the message here is it doesn't have to turn into a big conflict. It doesn't have to turn into a big argument. Use your compassion and your strength, your quiet strength, okay? Establish boundaries when you need to. Um, and just say what you need to say, okay, with this energy. Again, it's about training, school, studies, for some of you with this energy, um, joining a new group of people, joining a new social club, or expanding your circle of friends with this energy is also coming up. If you are dealing with a lot of people and that's all that is, um, please try to be aware, you know, that everyone has their own personality and everyone has their own things that they're dealing with and, um, if you can establish boundaries, that's great. And if not, again, don't let people get to you and don't let people take things out on you, okay? Remember, it's just one week. 
for your challenge, we have the two swords. So with the two swords here, your challenge is to find a way to get along. Your challenge is to find a way to meet someone halfway um, for some of you. For others of you with the two swords here, your challenge is to express what you think, to express how you feel. Don't just shut down and um, put that cold front on, uh, that rational mask on, okay? How you feel is important, so you should talk about it. You should talk about if someone's hurt your feelings. You should talk about um, what you really think in a situation. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be mean, but don't shut down. It needs to be expressed, okay? You deserve to feel the way you do. You have a, a right to feel the way you do. You have a right to have your own opinion. You have a right to um, see things the way you see things. And you shouldn't have to explain yourself or defend yourself uh, or... Uh, feel like you're wrong for feeling the way you feel okay and there may be a tendency for you to just shut down and say you know what this is just not worth it I'm gonna walk away I'm gonna just forget about it it's not important it is important how you feel so try to talk to someone about it. if you can't talk to that person because they don't want to hear it that's one thing but find someone that you trust someone who will be able to hear you out and give you good advice okay or just let you vent um, and you can trust that person and just express how you feel. Don't shut it down, okay? And don't let other people, again, manipulate you into doing things or push you in a direction or another. Because you have the two swords between the five of wands and the five of swords. Your emotional life and love life, we have the five of swords. So with this energy, you may be dealing with someone who's a bit of a bully uh, or a manipulator or someone who just wants to be right. Um, this person may be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or they have air in their chart. Um, and this is, you know, not an, e an easy situation to deal with. This person may say hurtful things. This person may do hurtful things. Um, and again, the message is don't let that get to you and don't take it seriously. Don't take it personally. Don't take it to heart. This is someone who's just either dealing with a lot and having a rough time themselves and they don't know how to handle their own emotions or it's someone who's just a bad person. Either way, the King of Raphael says, understand how you feel, um, be um, aware if you are being triggered by something or someone or something they say to you, be aware that you are being triggered, understand what is happening and then decide what you need to do in that situation because the king of Raphael here is also an energy that says it's okay to hold back you know it's okay not to have a reaction especially if you see and you will do that someone is just trying to be mean or someone's just trying to be a bully or someone is just saying things for the sake of hurting you okay and you know that that's just not true don't take it to heart don't let it affect you okay and if you can't talk to this person because with the king of swords they're not in a very receiving mood or they're not going to listen if you can't talk to this person then walk away establish that boundary you will not speak to me this way i will not allow you to treat me this way walk away and then talk to someone you trust talk to a counselor or someone you, you trust <clears throat> to vent if you need to okay with this energy and don't let people, whatever, whoever says whatever to you when it comes to this week, just double check your facts or take it with a grain of salt. Um, because there may be someone in your environment or a couple of people in your environment that are um, either pulling out your heartstrings, manipulating you, or trying to take down your confidence a couple of notches just because they're bad people. And you already know who these people are, okay? You already know. So just protect yourself with this energy. <clears throat> so that is your week um i hope the messages make sense to you i hope that they help if you are dealing with these energies let me know what the cards are talking about for you if they apply to you um it's going to be different things for everyone but um thank you for joining me i hope you have a really good week and i'll talk to you again very soon take care